Welcome back to Holistic Developer. How is your day so far? I'm truly hoping it's an amazing day. I'm planning to talk with you about my recent experience that I had um, and it's in particular the interview that I had at Google this past Friday. It was on-site interview in Mountain View, California. It's the Google campus, right? So since this is a lengthy process, therefore the video will be a really long one. So I'm planning to record the videos in multiple parts and I'll be recording information such as everything from the beginning until the end. You will hear about the recruitment, how was the interviews, phone interviews before I went to on-site interview everything all the communication that happened everything that i've done in order to get to the on-site interview how was the on-site interview what i have learned what i wish i did differently and yeah everything that i can share with you and everything i'm remembering at this time i actually took some notes here and i put them on a piece of paper so i'll be consulting with my paper so i don't uh, forget what I want to say because um, I'm sure it's in a, it might be some valuable information for, for you if you are in an interview process or if you're trying to get an interview with Google so you know what to look for, what to expect and how to prepare. So without further ado, let's get started with how was my Google interview, how was the process? So. Probably it was about a month ago when a recruiter reached out to me and it was a Google recruiter. And now that I checked her profile, she's a recruiter, Google recruiter from Texas. So she reached out to me via um, a direct message in LinkedIn and she asked me if I would like to explore opportunities at Google. And I decided like, yeah, why not? So I answered to her, yes. Right away, she replied to me and said, could you please um, tell me when you're available? Here's a link to my calendar, which has all my availabilities and select the time that works for you and attach your resume, your updated resume. So that's what I did. I replied to her with my updated resume and I went ahead and I used her Google Calendar to schedule the time when we can have a chat. It was a brief chat about 15-20 minutes to determine where we are, what she's looking for and what I'm looking for. So it was a simple chat conversation over the phone. So I selected that and the next day when that's about to, to happen, I completely spaced this. I forgot about that, that I scheduled it and I get a phone call, I'm looking at the numbers like, uh, I don't recognize who that is. So I pick it up and when she introduced herself, I immediately I remembered what what is it happening and who I am I talking to. So right away I went to a conference room, I closed the door and I tried to focus on the conversation that we were having on hand. And it was a pretty simple conversation. She introduced herself and she asked me to introduce myself and give her a little bit of my background and that's what I did. She asked about my interest, about my goals, where I want to be, why I want to look for another job. She asked me about uh, what technologies I'm using, what is my pref preferred language, programming language, and I told her that I'm primarily programming in C-sharp and previously I had experience with Java. So we talked about these different things. She also asked me if I'm interviewing with other companies and it happened that I was chatting with another recruiter from Amazon and it was about a hiring event that was happening in New York and I wanted to, to go to that hiring event and explore it. So I was talking with them uh, and setting up everything for me to go there in a week. It was about in the week that I was supposed to travel to that hiring event in New York. So I told her that because she was asking me about my availabilities for the next step in the process, which was a phone interview with a software developer from Google. And I told her, the, the situation, the real situation that it was that the next week from work I was having a really important week, a really busy one, that it was a conference, a, a week-long conference where I was participating, where I was a speaker and I told her there's no way I can do anything about that 
Um, and also the week after that, I was in communication with with Amazon to go to New York for the hiring event. So I told her that probably I would be available no sooner than two weeks from that day. And she said, okay, thank you for your time and that she will start the process for me to go for forward and start with the next step, which will be a phone interview. But at the same time, she decided to tell me that there is an option that it's possible that I won't have a phone interview. And she told me about that and I was pretty excited that that's an opportunity, but it's on their side that they take that decision. And I don't know what are the criteria. I have no idea why they decide to phone interview somebody and why not. So I have no idea what is the criteria there. So after we hang up within probably 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to one hour, I got an email from her saying, thank you for chatting with me. Here's the, uh, the information for the next step so with some recommended prep information and she suggested for me to brush up on my knowledge such as um, data structures, algorithms, graphs, hash tables and all of that glory <laughs> information that any technical people, any technical person should know and prepare for a technical interview regardless if it's Google, Facebook or a startup doesn't matter what company it is, we have to brush up on the odd skills because those are the criteria and those are the things that we are being asked during an interview. So she sent that information to me and at the same time she asked if I have any um, GitHub um, projects that I can share or hackathons that I participated and I replied to her told her like no I don't have anything like that but I do have things that I participated in I volunteered uh, I was a volunteer with Tic Tac and we are going to organize different workshops for high school girls I also a volunteer I was a volunteer teacher uh, at high school where I was teaching Java. So I told her about a little bit of my background and she actually asked me to send that back to her. And in reality, uh, work got crazy, super busy, and I completely forgot about that. I never sent that to her. And I kind of, <laughs> I kind of uh, wish I didn't space that out. So moving forward, uh, I replied to her and again I reminded her that I won't be available for any interviews for about two weeks for sure and as a result she um, tech, uh, emailed me back with good news. She said, good news, you don't have to do the phone interview. We decided to invite you on a site interview directly here in California in Mount View. So, um, let's get the ball rolling and she asked me if I'm okay with that and it's like yeah definitely let's do that so at that time she connected me with the recruiter um, a Google recruiter from California so she introduced us as well as she shared some other materials I think it was an article about the Google interview process that is I think it's uh, it's available online everybody can anybody can find it so we got introduced i started to chat with the new recruiter and he kind of wanted to do the same thing as she did she wanted he wanted us to get together and talk and see where we are kind of um, chat for 15 20 minutes he did the same thing he shared his calendar with me so we can uh, pick up a time that works for both of us that's what i did i um, opened up his calendar, saw which time are available. Unfortunately, it was during the time when I had major things that I needed to do uh, at work. So I decided to schedule that during uh, the lunch time because anyways, I need to do the lunch time. So I'll, I, I could skip lunch or eat it later. So that's what I did. If you find this valuable, feel free to like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to click that red button to subscribe and also the notification bell to get notified when I'm uh, putting the next video, like just the next part of this video because it will be multiple parts, right? And if you have any questions or any clarifications that you want to hear, feel free to add them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those. 
And if they can answer be answered in the comment, I will do that. Or I will go ahead and actually do another video if that's more, it's a lengthy uh, explanation that is needed at the time. Thank you again and see you next time. Happy engineering. Bye-bye.